Hey folks, in this installment of the Gear Yak, I'm going to be talking about the Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Premium Down Sleeping Bag. Let's do it. I needed a zero degree bag for my Mexican volcano climbing trip. Link in the description. I wanted something that was lightweight, I wanted something that was constructed well, but I wanted it at a budget price. So after comparing a bunch of different sleeping bags online, I decided to go with the Summit Zero. All right, so what are some of the features of the Summit Zero? Well, the Summit Zero is a zero degree sleeping bag. Now this means that the manufacturer believes that zero degrees is the lowest temperature that this bag would keep the average user warm. There are a couple of factors that the manufacturer can't account for when they come up with this zero degree rating, and that is what the user is wearing, the type of sleeping pad they're using, and the size of the user overall, how they fit in the bag itself. I use a Mummy Style Thermarest Pro Light Plus sleeping pad with a R value of 3.4. The first problem I had was that this sleeping bag is too large for my sleeping pad. It would droop over the edge and create cold spots. The insulation of this bag is 800 fill duct down with a fill weight of 700 grams or 24.7 ounces for the regular length bag. So you're probably thinking, what does this mean? The fill number indicates the amount of space that one ounce of fill will occupy. The higher the number, the better quality of down. This bag uses 800 fill, which is highly compressible and very lightweight, which is great. However, that's only half the story. We have to consider the fill weight and the bag itself. This bag has a fill weight of 24.7 ounces, which is lower than the other bags that I was considering, yet this bag is both longer and wider than those bags. This leads me to believe that although the fill power is great, the layer of down that's actually around you is thinner and therefore not as warm. Duck versus goose down. Since the fill power is a measurement, I have to assume that 800 fill power duck or goose are going to perform the same way. This bag is stuffed with 90% duck down and 10% feathers. This bag utilizes a grid baffling design and I think it works as expected preventing the uh, down from migrating to a single point in the bag. Now the claim is that this is a zero degree bag, but if you look at other zero degree bags on the market, with an uh, EN comfort rating, you'll find that they're between 10 and 15 degrees. Now, it's been my experience that this bag is, runs a little bit warmer than that, maybe 15 to 20 degrees, somewhere around there. The exterior is a 20D ripstop shell fabric with a Vital Dry DWR coating. 20D ripstop fabric is a durable polyester woven fabric that is resistant to ripping and tearing. The D stands for denier, which is simply a unit of measurement. The fabric looks good and feels nice. The Vital Dry DWR is a proprietary Outdoor Vitals DWR product. A DWR or durable water repellent is usually a liquid that's applied to the fabric that creates a water repellent barrier. This barrier wears off over time, so you'll need to reapply a DWR as needed to keep the bag from absorbing water. The interior is 320T ripstop fabric and it feels pretty good. This bag has YKK heavy duty zippers with zipper guards. Now, I, it works just like a zipper. I've zipped it up and down and I've caught my zipper on both the upper and lower fabrics. Personally, I'd like to see a larger zipper or at least the pull tab extended another inch to an inch and a half. The zipper extends about 53 inches down the side. When open, it hits me just under the knee, which works out well for me. When unzipped, the foot box remains closed, just as it should in a zero degree bag. On the inside of the zipper construction, there is a draft tube to prevent heat loss through the zipper. I wish it extended another two to two and a half inches to cover the webbing where the top and bottom panels meet. Moving to the shoulders, there is a shoulder baffle with a drawstring, allowing you to adjust how much heat can escape when you move. There's a small built-in pocket on the baffle, which is a nice touch. A face drawstring allows you to adjust the opening around your face to keep in heat and there's a draft collar around the face hole uh, for storage. Both Outdoor Vitals and I would suggest um, storing your bag in a breathable sack. They suggest a pillowcase on in one of their YouTube videos, while I would suggest something like a breathable uh, mesh uh, laundry sack, laundry bag, five bucks on Amazon. Finally, the Summit Zero comes with a, a four-point compression sack. Looks like this. It compresses to approximately 8 by 11 inches. This sack works as expected and the bag compresses very nicely. All right, so what are the pros and cons of the Summit Zero? So cons first, not compatible with my sleeping pad, uh, not as warm as I expected, and the bag is just a bit too big for me. So the pros are great price, 
quality construction and good materials and the bag is light and highly compressible. Compared to other more popular brand name bags, you're getting a bag that is both longer and wider, yet you're getting less fill weight. So the layer of down is actually spread thinner over your body. The roominess of the bag then works against your body's own ability to heat and maintain the temperature within the bag. This is certainly not a bad bag. In fact, I think Outdoor Vitals has the potential to make a dream zero degree bag. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't the one. Amazon currently shows 4.6 out of 5 stars with 207 reviews. And although it pains me to say this because I really wanted this bag to be a winner, I can't recommend it because it's just a little bit too big for me. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.